Good. Hello viewers, welcome back again to our CRE class. Now we did introduce the issue of contraception and we said is an issue of a terminating uh, pregnancy, not terminating pregnancy. Terminating pregnancy is abortion, right? Contraception is just, you are getting, you are getting to bar, you are preventing, right? You are preventing pregnancy, right? As, as, as a method of family planning. Now we are going to look at the types of contraception today right types of contraception today now what do we expect by the end of the class the session we get to discuss the types of artificial contraception now one of the artificial contraception is that um, these are in form of pills or injections right one is the hormonal contraceptive right so they are in terms of build, uh, pills and inject or injections now when you talk of hormonal remember we have got two hormones we have the oestrogen and progesterone. These are the hormones that are responsible for contraception, right? Now, when you get to induce a pill or an injection, an hormonal pill or injection, to disrupt, right, the functioning of those hormones, you are getting to prevent uh, a conception, right? Now, the oestrogen component prevents ovulation so that there will be no uh, ovum fertilized. Remember, the oestrogen hormone is the hormone that uh, allows movement of an ovum from the ovary all along through the fallopian, fallopian tube for fertilization. But if an hormone is induced, right, it prevents that, 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 uh, that, uh, that movement of an ovum, right? And also the pills, we have got these, uh, the, 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 the morning pills, right? We call them the emergency pills, emergency pills, uh, and these emergency pills are luckily uh, the, the male gender. You don't know about it, but uh, you get to consult your your female gender. They know more about the morning pills or the emergency pills. These ones they are taken 72 hours after uh, having a, a sexual affair, right? That it 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 makes it makes sure that uh, the egg also is not fertilized. Let's get to look at those hormonal contraceptives. They're there, right? They're the hormonal and the, 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 the pills. They're, they're there, right? Those are the, you, can, you can swallow them or you can be injected with. Now let us look at the intrauterine devices. Intra, intra, what does it mean by intrauterine? Meaning they are inserted, right? Into the cervix of the female, right? Remember, for you to fertilize an egg, Right? For you to say you have, you, 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 you have uh, fertilized an egg, right? The, 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 the male sperm must meet with the female ovum, right? And the male sperm is not going to be just dropped, right? The penis must be inserted, right? Into the vagina to make sure that the, the sperm is moving up. Now, the intrauterine devices, these ones, prevent the sperm from reaching, from reaching the from reaching the, the ovum. Let us get a look at uh, some of these devices, the intrauterine. That is why we call them in, intrauterine. They have been inserted into intrauterine. Uterine walls, they, they, they have been inserted into, into that. Now, let us look at those examples. We have the rings, well known for the ladies. We have the spirals. We have got the T-shapes, right? We have the seven shapes, right? Let us just look at example of them. Look at that. That's the, T, uh, T, uh, the IUD, intrauterine device. If you get to see, there's that IUD that has been inserted through the vagina into the cervix up to the junction of the left ovary. Not left ovary, but uh, to the uh, fallopian tube, left and, and right, right? It is T-shaped. You can see that? It is T-shaped. Now it has blocked. Now if you have inserted your penis and you are releasing your sperms, the sperms will be prevented from entering in the fallopian tubes. Look at that. That is, those are, that, that is the I, IUD. That is the IUD. That is the IUD. Good. That is also the T-shape. Also, T-shape. Very well explained there. 
that is that is mostly in women let's get to look at another method which is sterilization yes what is it this consists of minor surgical operations both men and women can be sterilized using different methods right we have got one vasectomy vasectomy is carried in men right what is it it involves the surgical removal of a part of a first deference. Let us look at that. That is vasectomy. That is vasectomy. Let me take back that. That's vasectomy. Meaning, remember the first vas deference, there are those tubes that uh, get to allow sperms to move from the, 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 the testis up to the urethra, right? To the sperm duct, or we can call it a sperm duct. Now, if you can, if you can clearly see, those uh, the, the, the first deference have been cut, right? They have been cut. Now, if they have been cut, meaning, of course, yes, production of sperms will, will be there, right? But then they'll not be they'll not be uh, ejaculated out. So you see that the first deference have been cut. They have been they, they have they have prevented the movement of uh, of sperms up the the sperm duct. But again, a question has been rising. Suppose I go for vasectomy. I've got enough babies, right? Suppose I got three babies, and I say, no, I, I don't. I, I want no. I don't want more babies, right? Can I? Can I go for vasectomy? Yes, you can. But again, we have been having questions on how it is being done and uh, and the effects. Now, there is that um, there is that myth that if 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 you have take, if you have gone and undergone, undergone vasectomy, you are not going to erect, right? That's just a myth. Erection is. Is the, it it not cease, right? Your sexual desires will be there, right? You still erect, but the problem is that you will not get to you will not get to fertilize, right? That's the unfortunate part of vasectomy. And again, vasectomy was brought in to make sure that it is only not female that takes place in family planning. Also, men can take place. Now we are out of time. We have got tubal ligation also. Tubal ligation is in men. What does it mean? Not in men, but uh, in female. Tubal, tubal uh, ligation. Now, this is carried out in women. It involves the tying or cutting of the fallopian tubes, right? So it can be done by a thread. So is, those fallopian tubes are cut to prevent the, 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 the sperm reaching the, the ovum. Look at that. Let me show you that. That is the first uh, name. You can see that. Tubal ligation. Tubal, let me take you back. Good. Tubal ligation. You see, the fallopian, the fallopian tube have uh, the, the, fallop, the fallopian tubes have been tied to prevent movement of the ovum and, and movement of uh, sorry the, the, the reaching of the sperm in uh, reaching the 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 ovum in the fallopian tube. So class, we have got a number of um, a number of uh, methods. Also, we have just looked at a few. So in our in our next session, we get to look at more of these methods of family. Planning. Now, can you get to state the types of artificial contraception? For reference, get to use our reference on our screen. You can clearly see that. And this has been LMTV, your favorite learning channel.